What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924. Welcome to Kona 2 Broom, where we are here going to continue this series as I said we were going to do. Um I'm going to check the audio at the at the end of this episode make sure everything's good. Um I did do a little bit of mic testing so it should be fine, but I was debating between one of two different settings and I want to see which one's better. Anyway, um if you guys watched the previous uh, Let's Play of Kona, you guys will know that uh, we were some uh, investigator coming to investigate these this murder that happened and uh, ended up being a series of murders, I guess, at the end of the day. Because um, at the end of the game, we found out that there is these ice wolf things, and these ice wolves are connected to something bigger, which is a Wendigo, which apparently was... Well, uh, one of the residents, he was a doctor, he turned to him to go, right? Yeah, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Actually, I do want to change uh, it back a little bit, just give me one second. There we go, that should be better. I, I think this setting is a little bit better. Because uh, the music I noticed did pick up, so I'm assuming this will be a lot better for you guys. Anyway, um, we have Detective Mode, Adventure Mode, and Survivor's Mode. But we're going to be playing for players seeking a balanced experience where challenges are engaging without becoming too difficult or frustrating. Um, we can have minimal or full narration. Um, we'll have full narration, just how we did in the first game, I suppose. Um, I think that's fine as well. Let's get right into it. Let's see where this game leaves off. Okay, if it's a years in the future, what is it? Northern Quebec, Canada. I must take a moment today to thank the boldness of our government and our shareholders. William Hamilton built his venture on the ashes of the Second World War. The copper mine he envisioned was ransacking the First Nations ancestral territories drawing the wrath of the local people. It definitely took nerves of steel to stay the course, despite all this hostility. Before long, in the face of William Hamilton's cold and uncompromising stance, the petitions and peaceful protests turned into sabotage, vandalism, and other criminal acts. The industrialists' private properties also encountered the wrath of the demonstrations. Carl Faubert, a veteran of the Korean War, was hired from Montreal as a private detective to shed some light on this whole thing. Which was us, but in the first game. at the game. end of his long journey to northern Quebec, the detective did not only encounter property damage, he also came face to face with the corpse of William Hamilton. The strangeness only kept building throughout the investigation. A powerful, unseasonable blizzard hit the region. Bodies frozen in unbreakable ice appeared. The local fauna began to act strangely and aggressively. Carl Faubert began to doubt his own sanity. The detective felt the weight of a gaze as if he were at the mercy of a powerful, feral creature waiting for the right moment to attack. Carl's fear was taking over. Overpowering his reason, he was giving in to delirium. In that instant, he thought that the dark waters of the lake might shield him from the shapes that pursued him. From there, he had a renewed hope in civilization, or whatever was left of it. Yep, that's basically what happened in the first game. And we are literally picking up right after where we left off, apparently. That's kind of... crazy. So we are currently leaving that island from which we just saw the Wendigo. Lake Michal. So yeah, it is a good thing that I guess we are starting this Carl let's play now. Carl knew that on now. one of these shores stood William Hamilton's lavish mansion. And there, the detective had hopes of finding a way out of the area. A phone. Well, hold on a second. We have a map. Um, we do. That's different. These are all pretty damn different, aren't they? Um, first thing I want to say. Um... This is clearly where we left off immediately. So I'm glad that we're actually picking the second game up right after we just played the first game because everything is actually coming in line as a big cohesive story now. 
other than we just escaped the island from the Wendigo. Hence, we just did. We did escape from the Wendigo, which was the doctor, I believe, at the uh, at the first game, who just, I guess, turned to a Wendigo somehow. Truck. Who knows? Under the luxurious paneling and damask carpets, he might be able to find. We still have our rifle, questions. our axe. Okay, we have a lot of things, and we're going to Hamilton's mansion. Apparently. Why? I don't know. I thought we were escaping the Wendigo. If you remember, too, there was a person that we came across as well, but... I don't know. We have batteries now? The detective wondered about the floating debris. Had it drifted out from the shore? Or had it been abandoned there in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, because that flashlight should actually be pretty, uh hand free now because we don't need an actual flashlight now also um this isn't good did the wendigo shit spread because we were trying to go to hamilton's house and on the map if you remember right in the first game in which we never made it to so i guess that tracks where we're going i can't really go anywhere i'm just kind of adrift which is fine, I suppose. Carl saw a boat in the distance, clearly piloted by one of his own. Had he finally made it to civilization? Yeah, because there was a guy at the end of the first game that his we hopes saw. were immediately drowned out by the sound of gunshots. Whoa, that's different. Time to flee again, and fast. No, I want my gun though. Also, these waters are ice cold. You're crazy. Damn, things are escalating here. Carl swam without a thought, yet each stroke was desperate. The icy water and his wounds made him feel weaker and weaker. He had to get to shore. So we did get shot. That's horrible. Can we go up? Dude, go up. It's already too cold. Kona 2. Broom. I don't know if you say say that or not. Broom, bruma, brume. Let me know in the comment section if you guys know. The bleeding and the hypothermia were tearing at Carl's poor body. When he finally saw a light in the distance, he was filled with a faint sense of hope. Could it be a refuge? That's definitely a decent way for the game to make a start without anything, though, again. Like, we get shot at, at our boat, you know? That's not a bad way to uh, have an excuse to make us have, like, new codes, new rifles, everything. I'm curious if this game has the same saving system as the first one, where we have to go into, like... Um, like, different areas and, like, relax in the fire and shit, you know? Well, we need this first off. First aid kit. Granted, we never really used the first aid kit in the first game that much. In fact, I think we used it maybe once, and then the other time we got insta-killed by the Wendigo, which was the only time we got a game over in the game, which is pretty funny. Um, how do we do it? Quick inventory. There we go. Flashlight. Cool. Nice. Um, there's a battery, if you notice. See that on the upper left? So we gotta be weary of that. Note from Charles. Um, read. Richard, we missed each other again. I slipped the money under the door. When you are finished with the delivery, just leave the key in the gazebo. Same place as usual. I'll be gone for a few hours, but I'll see you next in front of the checkerboard. Be prepared to get your ass kicked. Charles. So... Where the gazebo at? Oh, there's save points now. Ooh, interesting. Well, technically there were save points in the first game as well. Ah, there's the key. Okay. That's neat. I'm glad we have some 
ammo for a revolver. Oh, interesting. I'm glad we have um, objectives like that nowadays. Oh, interesting. Throw in the fire. Our warmth is going up. Beautiful. Sweet. I like that. Ah, a gun. Oh. So... We have our gun. Oh, and you can just... Interesting. You can swing with it, too? That's... That's different. Um... How do I put this shit away? There we go. Because technically, we don't even need to hold it out. We could rest in the bed. Which I'm guessing is how we save. This feels a lot smoother than the first game. I gotta say, they did quite a bit of work. And I'm pretty impressed. Locksmith receipt. Date is October 30th. So, excuse me, October 3rd. I can't read. 1970. Restructure materials delivery and maintenance work on the gazebo. This is cool. Batteries. Essential during blackouts and power to some devices. What kind of batteries are these? Double D's? Double D's nuts. Anything else that we should be looking for? I don't think so. Let's see if this saves. I'm curious. Because now we have save points. Which is fine, I guess. If that's true. I mean, we're resting. Day two begins in the shelter. I'm guessing that's what the little cogwheel was. Perhaps. Carl struggled to wake up. His makeshift bandages offered him little time. If he wanted to find the truth, he had to get to Hamilton Manor without delay. You know, nice it would have been if like our stock updated. Oh, can we um crouch? Yeah, we can. We jump? No. What the hell? That's new. That weren't there before. Can we use to note down important clues? The journal was the rock to hold on to in a rushing waterfall of memories. This is new a too. tool Carl was happy to have back. And we have our camera to immortalize important clues. Okay. So let's check our journal here. Um, I managed to get on a boat and escape from the beast on Lake Michau. This lake connects directly with Leech Lake, which surrounds Hamilton's Manor. I hope to find people alive there or some way to communicate with the outside world. It's about time this misadventure came to an end. Several boats and debris are floating on the lake, but no sign of the pilots. Armed men are sailing on the lake and seem to be shooting at anything that moves. Who are they? Did they shoot the others? I had to run away and leave all my equipment behind, but who can I trust now? Okay, so we have a lot of different things that we can browse through. And collectibles, looks like. Notes to jot down, camera clues. We're just trying to browse through it. I guess skip through the next sections. With the, the bumpers instead. Wow, there's a lot to this. All right. So, yeah. Oh, what's this? Ah, that's how we save. And there's an autosave feature as well. So, yes, we do have to use the fires as well. And it looks like you only need, um... The... Carl was forgetting the time was running out. Excuse me? He had to go to the manor if he wanted to find the answers to his questions. And it looks like we only need the wood this time. Damn, that's bright. Carl left his refuge, knowing that he was headed to a more comfortable, but otherwise ominous place. Yeah. So we're here. It's pretty straightforward so far, which is Hamilton's good. Hamilton's mansion. I guess we should um, check out some other areas, but maybe not. Let's go to where we're supposed to go. So far, it's pretty straightforward, which I do like. The other game was very, um, I want to say it's linear. But you had, like, a certain area to explore. Like, you had the whole map to explore to yourself. But only certain things would unlock when you found certain other things. I'm also hoping that we don't come across a ton of things right away to fight. Because, well, the game is just starting. 
And the, the game did give us a gun right away, which I like and don't like at the same time. It means I can defend myself, sure, but I don't know. Batteries. They're really hammering down that batteries will be a thing in this one, which I don't mind, actually. I kind of like that because it means we will have to be a little bit more resourceful with our equipment for certain things. Alright, we have a frozen lake up ahead. Don't think we have to go to the frozen lake at all. This feels a lot smoother than the first game, I gotta tell ya. This feels like night and day smoother. And I'm very surprised by how clean it feels. Can we go this way as well? Yeah, we can. Um, there might be something cool out here. Let's check this whole little zone out and see what there is to see. I like that it says there's save points here. It at least tell us, which is great. So if we ever needed to go and save or end an episode or something like that, we know where to go. I think that's a nice little feature, you know? Yeah. You know, I was mentioning- He knew that wolves do not attack people. Still, he had to be careful. Yeah, I hear you. Like, I don't know if the wolves guard anything. I know in the first game, sometimes the wolves would actually just straight up guard things. Oh, you do have a jump. Which is, I mean, it's fine, but I wish, uh, you know, I kind of hope that's not so much the case in this one. It looks like we could just go and shoot the wolf if we chose to, but is there really a need to? Really. These stones came from a long time past, from a local people who had an organic relationship with these lands. Carl felt somewhat reassured by the construction. There was something the detective found charming about the mechanism of the instant cameras. Yeah, I just had to take a picture of it. I don't know if we need to take a picture of it, but... I remember in the first game there was indicators that we should take pictures. I don't know if that's going to be the case in this one. It just looks important, you know? Talk about exploring a wasteland of snow. This is really nice. It's so smooth. I can't believe how smooth the game has become for this series. Holy shit, that's a fucking Black bear. bears were known more for their skittish nature and their love of berries than it's for true. their aggressiveness. Still, it was important to be careful. You're right. Um, I'm going to pull out... What's this? A temporary camp was set up in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I like that. It'll just bring us to a certain note now. I like that a lot, actually. I guess, theoretically, I could go and just attack the bear... But this doesn't sound like the most wise course of action. And we also use his weapon. That's nice. Guess I'll just hold the hatchet. Oh, nice. We could just like let's make a save here. Bears are shy creatures. Until one day, for no apparent reason, they react aggressively to feeling threatened. Yeah, isn't that the case? That day is often your last. That. Oh, those are pins. I thought it was like a uh, camera film or something. Ah, uh, someone was monitoring the ins and outs of Hamilton's mansion. September 22nd. Arrival at Manor, no travel. Ham is in his office until 3 a.m. September 23rd. Chuck returns from fenced area. Three guards at gatehouse. Women are rounds at 1.15 p.m., 3.10 p.m., 5.15 p.m. Lots of movement of equipment. Abnormal ham, not present, slayed at the manor. September 25th, Ham did not move from the manor. Ill? September 28th, D-Day. Tonight, Chuck, me, plus four. Hmm. I do like that there's save points a lot, and I do like it seems like we don't have to just collect wood for it now. It was kind of annoying before to do that, but it seems to be quite the improvement. I like that we have an axe again. Um, That's good. I don't like that it also says it can be used as a weapon. It means we will have to go melee combat with certain things. It means uh, I'll be in danger. 
And yeah, we're, we'll check the map periodically. We should probably go here. There was a... It looked like there was a little dock area. And I would like to see if there's anything at that little dock area. Which there may or may not be. I don't know. Maybe there's better things to loot there. I see either a bear or a wolf up ahead. That's a... Uh, that's a wolf. All right. Is that another axe? That's interesting. So in case we miss the other axe, there's an axe here. I think as long as we are, like, relatively far away from these things, then we should be okay. Right? The ice looked recent. Better not test it. I'm glad he said that. I mean, theoretically, it could be like... Nah, 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 nah. Actually, it does look like he's guarding something right here, doesn't it? Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. I think we got hit, but our Wolves health is still do full. Not generally attack human beings. At least, not unless you attack them first. Yeah, that's why I did it. I wanted to see if it was guarding anything. Like a battery. See, it was worth it. I killed the wolf for a battery. Spare parts. And we can go inside. Or, uh... We should have been able to go inside, but we can't. See, that was worth it to me. We found stuff. Does this game have the weight system of the first game? Because I really didn't like the weight system. It does not appear to be the case. Man, I can't believe the freaking textures. The first game was made, I believe, in what, 2016? This one was made either this year or last year, I think. Like the end of last year or near the beginning of this year. And I'm pretty impressed. They did quite the job with it. Ideally, we're not going to use our gun unless we really have to. If there's a pack of wolves, we might have to for sure. I'm not so scared of the animals. Try to put the horror into perspective. Accidents happen, and in the inhospitable far north, it happens more often than not. I found a wrecked vehicle in its frozen driver standing upright on the side of the road. As if the carnage was not over. Um, so there is a Wendigo here. I don't know if it's the same Wendigo or what. But there is in fact a Wendigo here. I'm normally frozen body. Bruise marks on the neck. Which actually... Oh, hello. An card. access card, a rather modern piece of technology, especially for a mining complex in the far north. Yeah. What could uh, it possibly open? Hand-drawn map. Huh, there's a depot thing. The plan suggested that a package had to be retrieved not far away. Carl had to keep his eyes open. Watch Frozen on October 4th of 520. This is cool. Can I take his jacket? I'm normally frozen body. This is an armband of some sort, branded with Hamilton's Mining Corporation logo. Wow, there's a lot here to look at. I know Smarks frozen the man's neck. He also was wearing Hamilton's Mining Corporation badge. Why would mining company staff carry guns? What gun? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, a light machine gun? Okay. Where are we? So it's right here is what the map said. Why the fuck are we going in here? Are we crazy? Protective bag useful to carry radioactive supplies. A Geiger counter? What the shit is going on here? A radiation detector. 
Clearly, Hamilton's people were digging for more than just copper. Keeping this handy tool could prove beneficial. Uh, intervention protocol disaster crisis contingency. Hamilton Mining Corporation to employ to the employees of the emergency intervention unit in the case of an explosion or disruption with the matter. One, quickly retrieve the secure box located in the coverage area. With the device, locate the fragments to collect without delay. Beware of matters of volatility. And under no circumstances should you get close to the broom. Or bruma? Brume? I don't know. Collect the fragments with the mine's usual protocol. The mine's special lab is the only safe place to bring back the fragments. What the hell is what going on here? What mysterious fragments? And why was there a warning about the broom? Um, yeah, it says we can go this way, but according to the map, there's a thing over here. I want to go back. This letter raised more questions than it answered for the detective. Isn't that the truth? Pulled off by an extraordinary strength. That was probably the Wendigo's doing. If I was to surmise a guess. Should I be taking a picture of this dead guy? Probably. Yeah, it looks like... There we go. I found a wrecked vehicle and frozen driver staying upright. It does not tell you in this game, it seems like, about the taking the pictures. So, yeah, we're just going to have to find out and guess on our own terms, which is fine. I don't mind that. What the shit is this? Spy traditional indigenous art. Man, I hate that. Face carved in my wood. Let's take a picture of this, too. Fucking weird. We only have two pictures left. I see, like, a number two on the button. What's up with the fucking Geiger counter? Okay, so it was this way. Where we're going. Secured area. Okay. Wait, where's my fucking... There we go. So, yeah, according to the map, we have this. There's a safe point here, safe point there, which is fine. The security was more reminiscent of a Korean military base than a mining operation. It's different. These security measures seem excessive for the region. A temporary camp was set up in the middle of nowhere. Someone left surveillance notes there. Someone who was very interested in Hamilton's activities. Why? Well, we have clearance. I know we're cement. I mean, I know we're meant to go to Hamilton's place, right? But again, this game does the thing where if we discover something, looks like we can pursue that, which is kind of cool. It's linear, but not so linear. I like that. The first game had a not like almost any linearity except for like the very beginning. So it's good that that seems to have changed a bit. Nice. Another gun? Is there a point to having two weapons? A gas mask. A gas mask. Carl had tried out older models as an infantryman. We're a infantryman? He saw the need for such equipment to protect against simple ore dust. So, we don't have to come here. It's just a cache, is what we discovered. Also, we picked up two guns, so I'm guessing that just all that did was uh, take the gun that we found and just added the bullets that were within it. Which I imagine is a total of six bullets. We're not bringing this mask with us, huh? I would assume you would because we have a Geiger counter, right? That would make sense. But nope, apparently not. So yeah, we'll have to keep an eye out for shit like that. Which is fine. Oh, let's go. Moving on. Um, I don't see anything else on the map that was immediate, so let's let's get on with it. Excuse me? I don't really like this noise. I don't like that there's radiation involved now. 
That's bad. We have to go this way. That's not good. That's like not good at all for us. Look at that. I don't like how much of a jump that is. Circuit check? If it gets to level four or five, we're gonna be in trouble. Holy shit. Um, I guess let's take a right. Right here, right? I guess. Whoa, that's a wolf. Okay. Gotta be wary of the wolves. Hold up. You fuck off. Leave me alone, I leave you alone. Capiche? It's not gonna happen, is it? Good. If you notice, we have like a little people icon. Does that mean that's the radiation? No. We can't go this way. Carl's intuition stopped him. Somehow, he knew that this road would lead him to ruin. I suppose it would. It's interesting that there's all these different animals and they won't always attack you. I kind of like that. And I felt like we got kind of close to that wolf. But if they don't attack us, I'm okay with that, really. So it looks like there's another area here, but we're obviously supposed to go this way. There's probably other campsites as well. Once we hit our next campsite, it'll probably be a good place to end it, though. Hamilton Estate, Domain Hamilton, Tutu, Lerang. Okay, so this is dead end. Unless there's some hidden secrets. Nope. Oh, dead end. Okay. Just curious. Like cut off by the rest of the world or some shit. Oh, that little man thing is our stamina. Oh, I see. Do you use stamina swinging? Doesn't seem to be the case. Nothing here, either. Yeah, we're supposed to go this way. Let's keep going. There it is. Hamilton's Mansion. Nice place. This was the mansion of the late William Hamilton. No doubt about it. There was no other rich industrialist in the area to have a sumptuous mansion built in the middle of nowhere. Right. Now we know the key for it is in the gazebo. I guess I should go to the gazebo first then. Before we end the episode. I mean, I gotta find a safe point this first. This letter so. found in the cabin mentioned the gazebo. The key to the mansion would likely be there. So it was mentioned. I am looking here. There it is. Locked from the other side. You know, I don't know why, but this also has like a little bit of like uh, Resident Evil vibes, sort of, to me. Like it feels very survival horror esque in a certain way, even though it's not super horror y, you know? 
There's nobody in the vehicle. The doors are frozen shut. What did we discover? More graffiti we're digging to. Graffiti that says murderer. They were about to leave. Shit's frozen, shit's frozen, shit's frozen. Can't open the hood. We can go in here, however. Or not. Snowdrift is preventing us from entering. Let's check the trash, just like in the old games. Nope. Well, this isn't sus at all. Spare parts, ammo. Batteries. Yeah, I'm trying to not use the flashlight so much unless it's like dark out. Because there's no purpose in using it, right? Battery. The game really wants to hammer down that you have batteries. Alright, there's our save point. Si vous entendez ceci, ce message est crucial. Trouvez un endroit où vous mettre à l'abri. Ne sortez qu'en dernier recours. Si vous avez à sortir, armez-vous et méfiez-vous de quiconque porte les couleurs de la Hamilton Mining Corporation. Tenez-vous le plus loin possible de la faune. Les animaux sont devenus extrêmement agressifs. Je répète, tenez-vous le plus loin possible des animaux et méfiez-vous de quiconque porte les couleurs de la HMC. Huh. Fascinating. Is there anything else in this place before I leave? I kinda wish I could have turned off the radio. Are I look in here? Yeah. Okay. Let's save. And this looks like a good spot for us to end today's episode of Kona 2 Broom. Hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure you guys have a like and a comment. Tell me what you think of today's episode, of course. And if you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so, um, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 And uh, don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. On the next episode, we are going to be going inside Hamilton's estate and seeing what secrets lay bare inside here. What should be... Proving pretty interesting. I'm curious where this game is going to take us. And, um, yeah, I'm curious what the story is going to be. I mean, I know we have the Wendigo thing. I know Hamilton was a murderer and he got murdered himself. So, yeah, there's a lot to discover and I'm pretty excited. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.